Okay, this is the second video. And after I finished the first one, I started thinking about a way that might work better for, for the venting. And I'm going to use the vacuum. But what I did is if we flip this over, I kind of concave the back of this. I took I took my po the pocket knife and I cut this down so I don't know if you can see that but it's kind of a dome. And then what I did is if you can see these holes around the back, I decided that I took this really uh, fine piece of uh, wire here and I poked through on the end so instead of using the vent that comes out the side, the air is going to go down and the vacuum is going to suck it through the bottom. So what comes next here, hopefully I can do this without dropping it, is we put the two halves together like so. And then what we got to do is we take the black electrician's tape here scissors would be better and we're going to tape this around the seam here because we don't want we want to get a good vacuum that's pulling straight down and we don't want to have problems with with the seam here. And then over here where we got the big hole, we got to add some more on there. Boy, that stuff's strong. All right, so we're gonna do that. One more little piece. kind of cold in here and this stuff it's not as uh, soft as it normally would be okay so now we have this what I think I want to do of course I got to find a tool to do it I just want to make sure that this is smooth in there there's no little particles that are going to come off and go down the hole so okay so now I'm going to heat the metal I kind of guessed uh, that uh, particular pattern where it weighs about uh, three quarters of an ounce I probably got a good two ounces here of metal maybe even a little more I just kind of guessed always better to have more than less When you're heating metal, you want to tip it back and forth so you can get it from all sides.
Take a little pinch of borax. Okay, now what I gotta do is turn on the vacuum. You wanna heat up the tip. So I don't know, I mean, sucked it right down there, it looks, looks like, so. Okay, that's not too hot. We're gonna move that aside. We're gonna disconnect the, it's actually a shop vac. Then I'm gonna pick this up. Flip that over. One of these days I'm going to remember a glove. Okay. Take that. Pick that up. You can see a little bit of metal there, which tells me maybe a little bit went down the holes. But that's actually good. You can, you can see some out of that. Okay, fingers crossed. Well, it casts. We got kind of a mess. Um, and from... But I think we got a good education here. And that it does fill the whole thing. It's just that the two halves... We just have to make a, a better impression so that the two halves here um, don't have... He must have had a little space between them. But for an experiment, I am, I'm delighted with this. Uh, this tells me, I mean, it'd be very simple to take a saw and cut those out. I'll pull it up here. I, I think overall that's a, that's a pretty good cast. And I think uh, uh, we'll try it a second time. And I think if we do it a second time, we can get it where we don't get the, the flashing in between. But uh, that's what experimenting is all about. Figuring out the best way to do something. And I think we... Uh, I'm pretty happy, so we'll, we'll end it there. Alright, thanks.